Welcome to this video on company research. After watching this video, I'm hoping that you will be able to identify sources of information for company research for your assignments, to be able to repeat the steps for retrieving the information from our library databases, and to be able to distinguish the databases from each other based on the specialized information they contain. Why do company research? Well, it might be for your schoolwork or because that company is interesting to you. It might be because you want to work there someday or because there is an opening for an internship or a co-op. So then what should you look for when doing company research? You should start with trying to find a brief history of the organization, its mission and purpose, and its products and services. Look for the organizational structure and its leadership. Try to find basic information such as its industry, market share, and competitive position. Look for the key opportunities it is pursuing and how it plans to achieve them. Look for the challenges or threats it faces and how it plans to meet those challenges. And try to get a sense of its organizational culture. So then, how hard is company research? Well, company research can be difficult depending on the organization. At one end of the spectrum are large publicly traded companies. And these are easy to research because they have to release a lot of information publicly. At the other end of the spectrum are small family owned businesses. These are harder to research because they don't have to release a lot of information to the public. Nonprofits and charities are somewhere in the middle. So what will this video series cover with respect to company research? In the first video, we'll look at using Google and Wikipedia to your advantage, but keep in mind that everyone has these tools, so they won't give you a competitive advantage in the job interview process or even in your assignments. In the second video, we'll look at researching the company using some of the library databases. In the third video, we'll research the industry. So how should you watch this series of videos? I recommend stopping after each video or even during the videos to try these techniques on the databases for yourself before moving on to the next video. And you may want to have more than one organization in mind as you start your research. This is because not all companies and industries are covered in these databases. And then remember to keep that checklist of what to look for nearby as you do your research. This way you can track your progress. That concludes this introduction to the company research series.